Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Olusha Gwenye coming from Nusa Capital, coming to you on another cold evening here in Pretoria, South Africa. And today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and how it's affecting the entire uh, crypto markets. As you can see on the charts, um, the price of Bitcoin seems to be heading downwards. The, this is the weekly chart, by the way. And we always, as you know, look at the higher time frames, all the way down to the lower time frames. So let's start off using uh, Ichimoku very quickly. And this, as you can see, indicates that um, Bitcoin as a whole is still bullish. Nevertheless, a lot of bearish tendencies. First of all, uh, the Kenjin Sen is above the Tenkan Sen. Secondly, the Chiku Spine is pointing downwards. However, it's got stuck right here in between the price action as well as within the Tenkan Sen. Now that may sort of create a kind of resistance level or support level depending on what direction the whole price is going. So you might have a support level here, as you can see because of that. Our clouds, the green here, which is the circle span A is above circle span B, which still tells you that it is bullish. And we've got a 26 week, um, almost like a future here. This almost like tells you the kind of future we're going to have. Although there's nothing set in stone, but this is 26 ahead, 26 weeks ahead into the future. With prices ranging between 37,356 and 40,955, which is quite a long way to go. Okay, very quickly, let's switch down to the daily. And as you can see here, completely bearish. No question about that. As you can see here, Chikwa Span running completely free. Tenkan Sen is below the Kinchin Sen. And of course, price action facing down and all under the cloud. And as you can see, the Circle Span B, which is the red line here of the part of the cloud, is above the green one, the Circle Span A. That is definitely 100% bullish. I beg your pardon, bearish. I'm sorry, not bullish, bearish. And then we go down to the four hour charts. And without, you know, this is the beauty of Ichimoku. It just tells you immediately this is most definitely bearish. Everything is under the cloud. King is above the Tenkan. And of course, the Chiku is, is pointing down. So, no contest there. But let's go back to the weekly chart very quickly. And look at something. Let's just close down the Ichimoku and then let's open up what I call the BTC uh, bear market indicator. And essentially, this indicator has got the 21 EMA, the 34 EMA, and the 50 SMA. So, EMA is the exponential moving average, and SMA is the simple moving average. So, I'll just be saying 21 week, 34 week, and so on. That kind of stuff i'm not going to elaborate but as you know all except the the first two 21 and 34 are exponential moving averages while the 50 is a simple moving average and ladies and gentlemen what you have is last week when i actually gave it when i actually gave a video last week you see that i talked about how the 50 weekly um simple moving average is acting as support now but if you look here very closely, as you can see, the last, these last two here have kind of broken that support. This is broken the support. This is definitely below support, which is the 50, 50 weekly simple moving average. And now that it has broken it, we could find that it can, you know, prices can easily, 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 you know, go back up. Make no mistake about that. That can definitely happen. So let us not um, think that okay, it's immediately it's going to be, you know, it's going to be it's going to be bearish and just going to keep going down, and the price will just kind of fall out of the sky or something like that. No, not necessarily. However, if next week we have another candle that closes below this 50 uh, simple moving average, then and only then will I begin to say okay, maybe we're going to have a downward trend from now on. But we're going to wait for that confirmation and that confirmation is not in quite yet because even here as we can see the closing price on this particular candle 
is still above the 50 week moving average now I've drawn this line here to show you that it's you know it's gone up it's gone from here all the way down below the 50, uh, 50 weekly moving average it's gone back up and then down again now this could happen and why is this why are we considering this we're considering this more closely because it has already broken the 34 weekly exponential moving average now if we let's do something let's remove that and let's go back to our let's go quickly to our indicators here and let's get our bull market support and as you can see I've said it then and I'll say it again as you can see this is definitely below the 21 weekly moving average as we saw in the bearish the bear on the bearish indicator but this is our bullish indicator we can see now that this is definitely under it now until this price action until our price action goes above these goes above both the 20 weekly and 21 um, weekly the 20 weekly and 21 weekly yep yeah. until that time nobody should expect anything to happen or anything dramatic to happen i.e the prices of um the prices of uh, altcoins and everything are going to start going up no you're going to get the odd anomaly you're going to get the odd outlier but overall ladies and gentlemen expect to see the prices going down um another thing before we forget remember some people have considered uh, 30,000 as uh, the um, as the position for the price to hold it has broken that 30,000 30, and we're just yet to see now it's hovering at the moment at about 29,600 but don't be surprised that you find that it falls all the way down to about 27, uh, 28,700 being this last candle here and as you can see this is a hammer now this was actually would have been considered quite bullish actually this is because you can see that on that day the, bull, the the bears pushed this price down and the bulls fought back and pushed it back up so one would have considered this as quite bullish but you can see what has happened over the weeks so until we begin to see that reversal of fortunes uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, do not expect anything dramatic to happen in terms of price now some people are saying already that the stock to flow model was indicating that the prices should be about $110,000 at the moment well the reality is, is that we are under $30,000 at the moment I am not someone who particularly encourages um, extravagant um, price predictions I don't particularly like it I don't particularly enjoy it either but earlier in the year and I think about January from my memory subsequent I think December January um, this year uh, people were forcing me saying asking me oh you know what what, what do you think the price is going to be what do you and I predicted at about 70,000 not a hundred thousand I just kind of looked at it but again ladies and gentlemen it was not based on any particular um, uh, calculations it was just more of intuition and looking at price action over time I just felt 70,000 we will hit 100,000 eventually I think so um, but this 200,000 500,000 going to the moon and ladies and gentlemen let's see what the market tells us and not jump into you know get our heads in the clouds and start screaming about this way it's going to go or not going to go anyway expect the prices of alts to continue to fall um even bitcoin it's a bigger pattern even ethereum has broken 2000 has even gone below um i think it's about 1900 or something the last time i checked i don't know <coughs> excuse me and um that's you know that's going to be interesting to see although um if you read the headlines at the moment um 
Ethereum is the place for most people to put their money. It's a place to be, as a lot of um, corporates have kind of got excited over that. But we shall wait and see and see what happens. Some people are already talking about the flipping. I would say to people, let's get through this one first before we start talking about other things. Anyway, as always, ladies and gentlemen, um, keep your eyes and ears open and your trading sharp. Have a good one.